Hey guys, it's me the Sextrovert and today I'm going to be talking about Hims Pedge Spray. Now you might notice that Pedge is not a real word. These, uh, like this kind of product has also gone by names such as Delay Spray or Sensitivity Spray and that's the whole point of this spray is to make you last longer during sex. Now, there's no magic ingredients here. There's no, you know, strange Chinese herbs in medicine. There's no ground up rhino penis to make you more virile. It actually uses some pretty simple and straightforward, um, like chemical concepts to just safely and easily kind of lower the amount of sensation you have when you're having sex so you can just last a bit longer. Now there will be a link in the description where you can get a little bit more info as to how they get this done. But in short, I use this spray whenever I want a nice, satisfying, long sexual encounter. I'll, I'll often use it maybe the first five times I have sex with someone new just because I'm an insecure man and would really like her to like me and then they usually leave me anyways, but that's a different video topic. The point is that this spray is extremely effective for what it's trying to accomplish. I've used a couple other sprays similar to it, like Promescent, and it does work on a similar concept. If you notice on the back, the active ingredient is Lidocaine spray, 10 milligrams per use, whereas there are some inactive ingredients that essentially are just all the chemical names for the goop that the lidocaine is within. It's quite simple. If you pretend my finger was, maybe not even my penis, but just a penis in general, you have the tip over here, and then you have the point kind of where the head goes into the two different hemispheres. For me, I find it's best to just take the spray and then like spray gently right around, um, it's the banjo string is what they call it, or the frenulum. Now, not all men have this, because if you're circumcised, you know, some of it might have been taken away in the procedure, but the bottom line is the underside of your penis head. Like, you probably already know this well. It is quite sensitive, and there's a lot of almost, like a different level of intensity on display there. Now, the thing is, I just sprayed a little bit on my hand, and even if I just rub this in now, it'll actually even get a little numb, but it mostly works on the penis is what I want to get at. If you just spray it underneath your penis and rub it in a little bit, that's the perfect amount in my opinion. There are some people who spray it on other parts of their penis that they know. Like let's say if whenever someone is really jocking on the base of your dick that you tend to go over the, over the line and um, finish a bit too early, that might be where you want to put it. But for me, it's just enough right underneath the head because that is just such a sensitive area. The way it works is you only need about one to three sprays, maybe four or five, depending on just how powerful those sprays were. And the best time to apply it is about five to 10 minutes before you expect sexual interaction. So you might have to dip out into the bathroom or you might just have to say that you need to take a shower beforehand, but you're just gonna need about five, about a minute to yourself, five to 10 minutes before sex begins. What I usually do is I'll go to the bathroom, I'll spray my three sprays, I'll rub it in, and then I'll actually go about on my business. So after I sit, after I go for a pee, maybe sit and look at some memes on my phone for a bit in this girl's bathroom for a bit and let it all kick in. I then usually just wet my hand, do a quick wipe down so there's no smell or taste or anything. And if I just stay in the bathroom for all of three to five minutes, by the time I'm out, it'll have started to kick in and there will be no trace of it whatsoever. So after that, I noticed that it probably added at the very least, it added about five minutes, whereas there were some times where I noticed I went more or less pretty much 15 minutes longer than I usually do. And it's not so much that when I rub it underneath my frenulum that I like cordon off that area and deny myself all the pleasure from it. It's more so just that the, the sensations themselves are a lot less strong. So as I kind of go up inch closer and closer to orgasm, whenever I get a nice sensation on the, on the bottom of my penis, it isn't gonna unnaturally jump me to the next level and make me bust too soon. Now, the pedge spray part, it says they're just, I've never heard of anything being marketed really as a pedge spray with that exact three letter word. It's just supposed to mean pre-ejaculation, right? I'm guessing they're having a hard time putting, you know, 
pre-ejaculation spray on something they're expecting people to buy without feeling ashamed. But you honestly shouldn't feel ashamed to begin with. The whole point of sex is biologically more or less procreation. It's only recently that we put such a huge uh, significance on how long you can last and what you can do, right? So with this, you can kind of help um, breach some of the natural realities with some of the social expectations we've made around sex. Not only that, it's just always a lot of fun to have half an hour of sex compared to 15 minutes. I really don't think that that's a controversial statement. So like I said, there's a link in the description you guys can check out if you want to save a bit of money and check out the Hims Pedge Spray for yourself. They have tons of other products for men. They're actually doing pretty well in just being um, like a site you don't have to be ashamed to go on. There's no shadiness. They deal with a bunch of other products like hair and just that. It's just a general men's wellness store. So I really appreciate that they added this to their lineup of products because it's just something really simple. It uses lidocaine to work, and like lidocaine's an anesthetic that's used in hospitals, right? So it makes total sense why it would be here in a low dose to kind of just dull sensation just enough for you to kind of get more done before you cross the finish line. So please like and comment on my video, subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments at all about the little aspects of this, you know, I'm talking smell, runniness, all the little things that worry you and make you worried about whether or not you're going to have a good time with your partner. Because personally, I believe in you and I think that you can satisfy your partner with or without the spray. But if you want to make sure you do just that much more for them and you have any questions at all, don't be afraid to comment below. Thanks guys. See you later.